My lord, what a fight between Stipe and Alistair Overeem. I I need to go on ahead and give Stipe the credit this man deserves. I mean, I really, really didn't see him having much of a chance. You know, let's talk about Overeem for a second, man. Overeem may be the biggest credential disappointment ever. I don't even know how to word that correctly in a sentence. Like, this man is so decorated when it comes to striking and just cannot get the job done in the UFC. He wins at the highest level in every single organization he's ever been in. And when you look at his career, and you look at everything he's accomplished, and you look at his ability to strike, you think there's no way anybody can deal with this man. And he gets outstriked by the goofiest people, like Travis Brown. I mean, oh my goodness, man. So Stipe just straight up knocked him out in the very first round of the fight. And it, it looked like Stipe was in trouble within, first of all, his game plan, not Stipe's, uh, Alistair's game plan just looked a little ridiculous straight from the fight. I mean, he was literally jogging away from Stipe, literally running away. Literally running away from Stipe. And uh, I'm not sure what the game plan was. It looks like he was just, I don't know. And then he, just terrible defense. I mean, keeping his hands down, just loading up on big overhand shots and he was missing. But he did drop Stipe within the first minute and a half of the fight. Caught him straight to the chin. I believe it was a right cross. Sh dropped him. Absol Stipe just fell down like a ton of bricks. Just, he went limp. Stipe went limp. Overeem dropped him like a bad habit. And then uh, Stipe, uh, you know, he drops down. And Overeem jumps on him. And they kind of get into like a sprawl. And then Overeem decides to try to go for a guillotine. And, and that didn't work out. And then Stipe gets up, still a little shaky. And then he throws a couple bombs, lands a couple bombs on Overeem. And he's a little shaky. So they're kind of going back and forth. And then it's just... Ah, oh, man. Stipe takes him down. And full guard postures up. Ground and pounds this man. Until he until Alistair Overeem just went damn near unconscious. And Stipe got in a few clean shots of, of Alistair Overeem who was just limp and... Oh my goodness! What what is it about? I mean, Overeem caught him with a left. Excuse me, not a right. It was a left, straight to the chin. Dropped Steep. I mean, caught him clean, clean. Dropped him. And this is the Overeem we know, right? This is the Overeem we expect to see because when you talk about K one, when, when and, and they say that's like one of the toughest, like, and the man won in what was it like 2010? To I mean, not too long ago. I mean. I'm done with Overeem. I'm done. I'm done with the Reem. I'm done with him. And now I just need to give Stipe the respect he deserves, man. Like, I didn't see him beating Verdum. I damn sure didn't see him beating Overeem. So, like, now we... Uh, who knows what's going to happen in the heavyweight division now. Um, you would expect to believe that after <coughs> UFC 200 that Cain Velasquez is next in line. And it's like, I want to go against Stipe again there. But the man just keeps proving me wrong. And um, who knows what's going to happen with Verdum. After his fight with Travis Goofy-ass Brown, uh, he, Verdum kicked, <laughs> he leg kicked, well, no, no, it was like a push kick, to uh, one of Travis Brown coaches. So uh, I don't know if there's going to be suspension there. I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but I I'm assuming... I'm assuming it's going to be Cain Velasquez versus uh, Stipe. And I don't I don't even know what to think on who would win that fight because I strongly believed, strongly believed Overeem was going to have no problem with that fight just off of his background and everything he's done. He just cannot get it together. This man just cannot get it together when the fights matter the most. And he cannot get the fights done. 
I don't I don't I don't know what's wrong with him. I I don't know if he can't if if the 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 pressure of the moment just gets to him. Is oh my goodness, man. I'm done with the ream. I'm done with him. I I keep on putting my faith towards this man because I know the monster that he is. I don't know if it's a combination of I don't know, man. He he looked great for 20 seconds. But then he just looked terrible. When I'm talking about hands down, I'm talking about hands all the way down, not defending whatsoever, r- trying to literally run away from Stipe the entire fight. And it just... And he dropped him. He caught him with a left straight and dropped the young man. I'm talking about just dropped him. And then while he's down, he goes for a guillotine. He goes for a guillotine. And it didn't work out. Steve A just popped out of that mofo like nothing. Like he went for a guillotine. Like you rocked him. He's down. Pounce on him, Alistair. You pounce on him. The hell you th- who the hell you think you are, Overeem? Huh? Who the hell do you think you are? This man think he Damian Maya out here. This man think he Jacare. Who the hell does this man think he is? Just trying to go for a random ass guillotine. You need to go on. He drops him like a hammer fist. Throw, like, Stipe's hands are, are down on the mat as I'm watching the replay right now. His hands are down on the mat right when Alistair approached him. He could have got in a clean uppercut or just a clean punch straight to the chin while he was down. And he just went for the guillotine. And Alistair's a strong-ass guy. So I know guillotine... I mean, obviously, it has to do with technique, but it has a lot to do with strength. And he is one strong ass dude, man. And but Stepe just got out of it, and, and Stepe just just hit him with a few. I mean, oh my goodness, man! I'm so disappointed in Overeem. I'm I'm so like. Uh, at least it's it's nice to see uh, Stepe win. You know, um, you know, fighting out of Ohio. You know, that's where he's from. That's where he's fighting out of. And, you know, UFC 203 was held in Ohio. And I believe the same arena where the Cavs play. So, I mean, it was an incredible moment seeing the hometown boy, you know, win in in front of, I'm sure he had family, friends, and, and in front of his, just his community, his people, his state, his city, his town. It was awesome to see that. But as as far like what where does Overeem go now? Where does Overeem go now? Every time he climbs up, he falls back down. Like the UFC got but what the hell are we gonna do with this guy? Who are we gonna pair him up against next? Who? Who's he gonna fight? Who's he gonna fight? I don't know, man. Put him up against I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean <laughs> uh, he has to work his way back up to be a contender. Does he deserve Another shot to be the number one contender his next fight? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, oh my goodness, man. It's just... I'm trying not to let it get to me, people. I'm trying to not let it get to me, folks. But over... What, oh, it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul to watch Overeem dominate certain fights and look absolutely untouchable you know maybe i'm just not giving stipe enough credit maybe that's what it is if you guys are watching this gameplay this is a, a fight I uploaded uh not too long ago where uh, i wanted to pick overeem because i knew he was you know the ufc event was about to start uh the next day so you know let me get a fight and we'll overeem for the kids and the, my opponent ended up picking overeem and i picked stipe and uh you see i'm completely buns at this game i don't know what the hell i'm doing <laughs> but um, nonetheless, man, I mean, it, it it only lasted a round, but it was a very good fight. Actually, the last three fights ended uh, fairly quick. Well, not the Verdum fight. That actually went to decision. Um, one judge gave it 29-27. Like, how do you, like, what, a 9, uh, 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 like, 29-27, though? Like twenty nine, twenty seven. He just YOLO. Just draw nine nine. I just gave a nine nine. I don't like. I don't know how in a three round fight the man got a twenty nine, twenty seven. I don't. I don't know. But I mean, all in all, the the two the two or three card. 
Um, I was really pumped for it, you know, to see uh, Uriah Faber there. I love Uriah Faber. He's getting up there in age, though, man, and I think it's just going to be time for him to call it quits, man. I, I can't continue seeing my boy take poundings, man. It's, it's rough, man. It's the California kid, man, way back when he was with um, Strike Force. No, 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 not Strike Force. Um, damn it, man! What, uh, what was it? What was it? Their first pay per view was him versus Aldo. Um, I can't think of the organization, man. I can't freaking think of it. But, um, you know, I've been watching Faber for a while, uh, and it's just, it's, it's tough to see what he's he's uh, gone through, man. And, uh, you know, him never being able to uh, get UFC gold, which I thought for sure he was going to. Once he came into the organization, I was like, sooner or later, my boy Uriah going to, you know, get that gold. And it just never really happened. And uh, CM Punk fight ended in a matter of really seconds. Really. I mean, it lasted longer than that statistically. But, I mean, as soon as the takedown happened, you can just tell that, you know, Gall had the clear advantage and the experience. And CM Punk didn't really know how to defend neither the takedown or his uh, submission but um, and then the Verdum and Brown fight. I mean, there was a lot of boos. Folks were booing at him. You know, <laughs> every time uh, Verdum uh, during a post-fight uh, octagon interview, they just booed him the entire way. But uh, the main event for for while it lasted was a good fight. You know, Stipe just comes through again. I continue to count him out, and he continues to. Prove me wrong, and I, I I really thought going into this fight, if if I mean I'm not a betting man, but if I had to, I would have said without a shadow of a doubt, Overeem has this. I'm talking about striking wise, it's not even close. It's not even close. You know what Overeem has been through his you know his career and you know everything that he's accomplished. I mean compared to Stipe, is nowhere close and. He just gets outstruck. He gets outstruck, gets down, you know, gets taken down and just gets ground and pounded and man just went limp. Oh, man, that's the end of the video, man. If you guys made it this far in the video, go on ahead and leave it in the comments. Smelly coconut. So I'm going ahead and show you some love for listening to the entire video of my 203 review. Good card. You know, uh, would have liked to see things ended differently with Punk. Uh, I just had, I just had a small glimpse of hope that he was gonna pull through. Uh, I thought for sure Overeem had this in the bag, and unfortunately I was wrong. Verdum over Brown, I had that easily. I, I you know, I wanted my boy Faber to win. <sighs> but anyways, man, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Smelly Coconut in the comment section if you guys listened to the whole thing, man. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. I will be uh, seeing you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.